Our studio name is Chowza. Um, my name is Terry Chow. And I'm Adam Frezza. We combined our names to make Chowza. Adam and I have been working together since 2011, and a lot of the work that we've been doing together, there's one line of it that is very plant-inspired, um, nature-inspired. It's sort of based on this idea of play as a collaborative tool. There's a lot of back and forth dialogue, a lot of kind of uh, suggesting things and kind of rolling with it to try out new ideas. So the practice itself has taken the form of sculpture, it's taken the form in painting, drawing, photography. Um, and here at New England Botanic Garden, we're showing um, a lot of the sculptures in the gardens. I think the work being originally inspired from nature, um, it's obviously been minimized and abstracted down to very simple shapes but hopefully the viewer can kind of start to make those connections back to the natural world and see the simplicity of plants and then how that simplicity is the armature for all of nature's wildness. Yeah, and I, I think also, you know, the sense of joy and discovery and wonder that you have when visiting a garden, for us, that is also a way, one way to experience art, you know, to kind of look at something with fresh eyes and then see where your thoughts and your mind and your dialogue takes you. A lot of times, uh, I think people might feel invited, you know, to have a, a special connection with a place or an artwork. And I think that that invitation and that agency, feeling that kind of connection is really important to kind of open up the world of potential, you know, in your daily life or in, the, in your future or what you might want to, you know, how you might look at things differently, you know, beyond art. We talk a lot about echo, so that what we bring home with us whenever we have an experience. Um, and sometimes it's surprising what we remember from those experiences. We might edit out the bugs and the mosquitoes and the things that annoy us and the color or the shape of a thing or the texture of a thing might reveal itself later on in our lives and inspire us personally it inspires us to create and do something differently within our home within our practice so i think that kind of potential takeaway that it might affect someone's future in an unknown way is something we are really thrilled whenever we put something in the public realm that potential really excites us mm -hmm.